Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick with Indieogle, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a turret that sits on the ceiling, and when the player gets near it, then it'll start shooting at the player. Now, to save a little bit of time, I've already got the sprites done. Um, I'll just cover a few things about it. This is just a circle that I've erased half of and then moved up to the center, or the top of the uh, canvas. And then... I created a gun for it, which is just this, and then I created a bullet, and all it is is just a white line. Okay, now one thing that I should cover before I continue on to programming is the gun. Um, it should be facing the um, the it, the. F uh, getting tongue-tied tongue -tied here. Uh, the front of the gun should be facing the right when you're drawing it. So, imagine that where this red spot is, uh, this is the front of the gun. So, the front should always be facing to the right, or else it's not going to look perfect. It's, the uh, gun will be facing a little off offset of where you want it to face. So, let's go ahead and get out of that. We need to center it, by the way. And the same thing with the bullet. It should be facing the right, but in this case it's just a quad line, so it doesn't really have a front. So, just draw it horizontally, basically, and center this too. And the body, I used center to get the X part in the right spot, but I'm going to change the Y position a little bit. Change this to about 12. That should work. Okay, now we're going ahead to programming. First, we're going to create the turret body. And we're going to make it create the gun. And now we'll create the gun. And in this, we need to do a couple of things. First, we're going to add a create event and make a variable called time or timer and set it to uh, 10 to begin with. You can change this later on. And in the step event, this is where we're going to actually make this, uh, the gun face wherever the player is. Okay, so there's a few new commands in here that you've probably never seen before. So we'll start off right here. This is only going to check the distance to the object that you declare right here. And if what we're checking for is if the distance to it is below 300. And once again, you can adjust this to your locking. I'm just using this for an example. And here... The image angle, it's the GML way of changing the direction that the object is facing. So we're going to set image angle equal to point direction. And what this is, is you can make things actually point towards certain objects or even the mouse. And the first two arguments for this should be X and Y. And then we'll use, uh, in this case, object underscore ball dot x and dot y. If you were going to make this uh, 
face the mouse, for instance, then you would type in mouse underscore x and mouse underscore y. But uh, we're just going to leave it like this for now. And here it checks if the timer is equal to 10. Then it creates the bullet and sets timer back to zero. Now here, if the distance is equal to or above 300, then it sets the image angle to 270. So the gun will be pointing straight down. And here, if timer is below 10, then timer is just incremented by 1. And the timer declare, or determines how fast the turret is going to be shooting at you. And you can adjust this to your liking too. Uh, just change the number here, and then the number here, and here. Change it to whatever you want, and the, tur uh, the turret will be shooting faster or slower then. Okay, now we need to add in the bullet. And instead of putting this in the step event like we did with the turret gun, we're going to put this in the create event. Because, because we don't want the bullet constantly looking at the player while the player is jumping around the room and things like that. It's just, that would just look weird. Unless you're using like a heat seeking missile or something like that then it would be fine but in this we're going to do basically the same thing without the distance okay and to make it move towards the player we're going to use move towards point and then you declare where you want it to move to which is going to be object ball dot x and y and then the speed you want to use I'm going to use 15 and in the collision with ground event we're just going to destroy it okay now we'll uh, well uh, we're just gonna put it in here just put the turret body wherever you want and I'm gonna modify this room a little bit so you can actually get close enough to it okay that should work and now we'll test it out. Okay. First off, the turret uh, gun is above the turret body, which we can change that with the depth. And when you get close, it looks and starts shooting at you. Now, of course, this definitely needs a few adjustments. For one, the turret body is not exactly touching the uh, ceiling here. You can... That's just basically bad placement in the room, but uh, we'll just leave it like that. And we need to change the depth on the turret gun. Also, the turret gun, it wouldn't hurt for it to be a little bit shorter because it seems to be going outside of the body too when you jump up at it like this. So we're going ahead and uh, set the turret body to minus 100 and well really just 100 would work. And now we need to make the gun a little bit shorter. We could use uh, Right now I'm using 32, so we'll try 16. Maybe that would work. And now let's test it out. Try this again.
and now we really have a problem with the turret being too short. You can't really see it. So another way I know of fixing this is go back to the turret and set this to 32 again. And just draw this little rectangle again. And instead of centering this, we're going to take uh, the X position and set that to uh, about 5. And test it out now. It's really hard to film, uh, record tutorials when your computer doesn't really work very good. But I'll try. Okay, so that definitely looks uh, better than it did. Basically, you just gotta keep messing around with different things and uh, try to get it looking the best you can. To kind of help you understand this, the origin here, that is um, basically in this case it's going to be where it's rotating around. It's like an anchor point. So if you put it at the very back, it's going to rotate from the very back, the left position here. But if you put it in the center, it rotates around the center. So just play around with the origin and get it working right. And another thing is the turret will still shoot at you through uh, like walls and things like that and something that would be really useful here is a collision line which we talked about in the previous platforming tutorial for the falling spikes you could add in a collision line same way we did you might need to make the collision line follow the players X position too and um, that should work just the same. Uh, make sure there's no collisions in between you and the turret and make it shoot if there's not. Uh, I'm gonna leave that off though due to uh, the length of this tutorial but if any of you have problems or you really want me to uh, go in depth and explain that a little bit more then you can tell me in the comments and I'll make that tutorial but as of right now I will see you next time.